welcome, 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 welcome. So, we are going to do Lala Scorpio. Okay, the little sports are going to be first. Let's see what type of scorpionic power we're working with, okay? I'm going to do a new spread. Um, holy crap, I feel nervous. What's going on with you guys? Um, this is really strange. Um, I'm just going to hold my crystal. I know you guys are kind of starting like a, a new journey type thing, okay? I don't know if that's why you're nervous. Can you, can you hear it in me? Holy crap. Um, super bizarre. Um, so let's wash away any of the confusion that you're having, okay? I know we're a very misunderstood, um, zodiac sign, so it's just because we operate in a very, um, very personal level, all right? Um, this week is about, next couple weeks is changing, okay? Remember that, um, Try to commit to something, commit to your journey, okay? Um, let go of anything negative, anything holding you back, any bad habits. Um, change, okay? So, cheers to your new journey, okay? I don't know what this was all about, all this um, nervousness I'm feeling, okay? Sorry about that. Um, so, whew, get out of this because that's not cool. So, the reason why I did um, the, not he said, she said, um, where did that just come from? The whole, how the other one feels about you is because this, I want to be strictly, strictly you, okay? Strictly for my scorps. So I'm going to do a seven card spread. If I feel the need to clarify, I will. All right. Um, it's called it's called the rose spread. Okay. So because we're all we're all blooming. Okay. So let's bloom. Let's bloom. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do this, Brutus. Calming down a little bit. I don't know what that's all about. Huh? Definitely like um. Whole light workers energy is really like really like all right court let's let's work with this okay so um you know it's bizarre too i switched this up and it's kind of i got the goosebumps like i was lying <laughs> it's kind of like um in the beginning okay so and i was nervous in the beginning so that's weird i think it's because we are going on a new journey and I'm super excited, but of course nerves get in the way, okay? So, um, very strange, very strange, but calming down. I don't know what that's all about, so this video will be a little longer than the other ones, okay? I don't want to hear all your favor and your sports. Don't do that. Don't do that. Put that staff in camping. Worst camping trip ever, and I still have a scar. I didn't even flex it. It looked like I did when I went like, well, that was flexing, but like, <laughs> oh, I can't stand that stuff. So, let's see why your energy is all over the place like this, okay? Um, let's start. Seven card spread, rose spread. It's going to be the core issue. It is going to be your past feelings or your attitude towards whatever this is, um, your past actions, your advice, your future feelings, the way you're headed, and advice for the future. I know I kind of did some of those and broke them down with the, um, the other spread we just did, okay, how they feel about you type thing, okay, so this is just for my Scorpios, raw love, okay, I know I normally... I know I no normally label it certain dates, but now since I just do it every couple weeks anyway, I'm just going to do um, the beginning of the month and the end of the month, mid-month to the end, okay? So let's see my sports core issue, all right? My core issue for my sports. 
Remember, you're starting a new journey. This should be a beautiful, beautiful week. First couple weeks, okay? And remember, the new moon is on the 7th. I believe in Australia, it's already taken place. Core issue for my sports. I just want one. Core issue for my sports. I want to just sing back to life, back to reality, okay? So, don't think something's handed to you just because Jupiter's here, okay? Well, Sag isn't going to be, Jupiter rules Sag, okay? But, my sculpts are usually very hard workers anyway, so I'm not too worried about it, but for some... This is a reality check for you. So I guess it just depends on where you're planning the place. Okay. So, what issue is the Hierophant? I really want this card. So, okay. It's the Ten of Cups. So, right off the bat, you're either working on spirituality or working on your happy. So, with this being the present situation, um, to me, I feel like because I wanted this Ten of Cups, this talks about a commitment. So your core issue is committing to something. And it's ironic because I just said, try to find something to commit to. So for my Scorps, it looks like maybe um, settling down and committing to something that makes you happy seems to be um, tough for you this month. Or I should say this next couple weeks, okay? So... I think you're having thoughts of the past and thoughts of the future, okay? So please, you know, don't be clinging on to the past, all right? Scorps so can be a little clingy here and there, but now is not the time to be clingy. Now is the time to seek fulfillment, okay? So your core issue right now seems to be a commitment, whether it is, whether it's somebody else that wants to commit and you don't, or you want to commit and somebody else doesn't, okay? But this is the core issue, so... That's how you're feeling in the past, okay? What type of attitude you've had? What type of actions you've taken? I should probably say what type of attitude. My sports have quite the attitude. Oh, what the? Apple stick? One cat, please. Past feelings, past attitude. Draw our love next couple weeks, okay? What's going on with you guys? Oh my gosh. They really want to talk to you. They really want to talk to you. Past attitude. The sun. I don't really see this being an issue. I see this as you not getting the clarity. So happy go lucky, okay? Because it's beautiful. It's it's the sun, okay? So, you know, happy, happy, seeking happy, looking towards happy. Um, but this is telling me you're not getting the clarity, okay? But also happy, okay? Being happy with who you are, where you're going, how you're going. All right. Right now, your security, your foundation, your happiness definitely looks to be like on the board, which is fantastic. Um, let's see what your past actions are. Past actions. This is funny because these are the ones I try to come out. Um, it's the page of pence, so just trying to have a new start, going on a new adventure, beautifying yourself, making yourself feel good. I don't know if you feel pressed for time. I don't know if you feel like somebody's staring at you, you know, um, but just trying to, to have a new start, putting time into something. Possibly this looks material and passion-wise. Okay, which is beautiful. 
So, advice. Advice for the next couple weeks. Advice. Advice. This is three of cups. Okay, so just be happy. I don't see sorrow here. Okay. Um, but you, you sure are seeking happy. You sure are seeking fulfillment, growth in spirituality, in commitment, in just complete satisfaction in who you are. Okay. I don't see any, um, ill past behavior, nothing. I see you focusing on you, possibly growing a business, growing a family, starting a new business, putting time into something. And this is saying, continue being happy. This is celebrating. This is, you know, advice. If you've kind of been in the house and you haven't been doing much, you know, go go hang out with your friends. Go go socialize. Maybe start dating. Um, you know, I think your focus right now is, is self-contentment and happiness, which is definitely what you've been doing. Um, I don't know if you've been working too hard, but don't forget about you, okay? Um, go out and have fun, or this is, because this is advice, okay, so celebrate, even, even small victories, okay, um, even small victories, celebrate, okay, because right now you're doing a fantastic job, I don't see nothing holding you back, nothing, okay, so look at, let's look at the present feelings, the present feelings. Okay, so presently you have the seven of wands, okay? Um, so you, you're you sticking up for yourself. You're defending yourself, okay? Um, it's pushing through. It, it's getting through a battle. It's fighting. It's celebrating these small victories. But don't forget to stand up for who you are. Don't forget who you are. Don't forget your beliefs, okay? Um, sometimes this particular one talks about um, one more battle, which is not usually the seven, but in this deck, let me double check for you guys, okay, because it's important. Represents standing up for yourself and new ideas despite opposition, okay? Tensions may arise, you know, when it comes to competition. The seven reminds us just to stand tall and fight for what it is we want, okay? A clench of the fist reaches from the human heart, clinging tightly to its wand. Six other wands point towards the heart as if something's attacking it. The vibrations, the pulse, the heart, showing that it's still alive and it's pumping. The fist is standing up for your passions of your heart, demanding others and refusing to give up. Even if you're having, even if you're confronting or you're in a confrontation. The fist is strong and powerful and fierce. It will use the wand to knock down competition and protect its passions and complete its plan. Okay, so that's beautiful. You know, so again, standing up for who you are, fighting, okay? I, I think you're going to have a victory. And um, I feel victory with this three of cups. Um, but you're also going to have to stand up for who you are. Okay, because this is how you're feeling. You're feeling like you have to defend yourself. You're feeling like it's a battle right now. Okay, um, so you are battling this happy. Even though you're happy, you're battling to get here. Okay, because this is the core issue. So you're not at your complete, you're not at your complete ten of cups yet. Okay, I don't know if you're battling the universe right now. I don't see you as having any ill intent or depression or a frustration I don't see any of that well a little frustration as of right now but what you're going towards is a goal which is beautiful okay so continue to stand up for your beliefs go after your passions please okay so where are you headed where are you headed I think you're headed to that 
to that new home, to that that happy family, the what it is you're seeking. So don't don't panic. Keep putting the work into it, okay? The staff, here you go. You're headed right to your dreams, your hopes, your desires, your passion, your destiny. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm so excited for you. Gorgeous. Okay. Um, the star can can heal so it, sometimes, but that that is not what this is. This is going right towards your dreams. Yeah, you're walking right towards your destiny. It looks like you have a very spiritual path in front of you. If you're not spiritual, this talks about a commitment. Okay. Um, the higher font likes to be in the public eye sometimes too. Okay. The stars in the public eye. Um. So this is beautiful because right where you're heading is to your dreams and your passions. So, very proud of you. All right. Beautiful. So advice. Advice for the future. Well, advice for. Let's just do advice from November. And you take it as far as you want to. I want this one too. Okay. So it's the magician. Okay. Keep manifesting your dreams. You, you've learned a lot of tools to get to exactly where you need to be. So don't forget everything that you have learned. Regardless of the heartache and the fight and the sorrow. Okay. You continue to beast mode. Okay. Beast mode. Manifest. All right. Let go of what no longer serves you. And we talked about that, okay? Don't don't be clinging on to things, okay? The, you guys, this is the next couple weeks all about change, okay? Going towards a new commitment. All right, going after your passions. Okay? So, don't hold on too tight to the past either, okay? Whatever, whatever's going on there, because right now it is time to take a brand new journey. And you are golden, okay? Um, I don't feel the need to clarify anything again because <clears throat> the core issue is you finding your happiness, is is having this fulfillment, is seeking what it is you want. You know your past feelings, your attitude. You, you might not have clarity, but that's no attitude. Okay, that's being happy go lucky. All right, your actions, the page, page of pens, working hard, going to where you know you need to go. Your advice, celebrate, have fun, date, hang out with your friends. Okay. Stand up for what you believe in. Don't you dare stop going after your passions. Do you understand me? Because you're headed right towards your dream. Right to your ambitions. Right to your passion. You keep manifesting. You keep working hard. You've learned a lot. Okay. It's beautiful. Please release what needs to be released. Don't be clingy. Okay. That was an extra message for you guys with this clinginess. Don't it might be time to let go of something, okay? Um, now is the time, like I talked about, within the next couple weeks to let go of whatever it is you need to let go of. Let the confusion go. I don't see the confusion, okay? I just see in the present moment, you know, you're fighting for your beliefs. You're standing up for who you are. You're, you're, you're fist. You're ready to go, okay? Um, your heart's beating. It's racing, so you might have a little anxiety here, here and there, but, like, Go rejuvenate yourself. Let go of bad habits is what this is saying. You're more than capable of letting go of these bad habits. You know what I'm saying? So it's a beautiful, beautiful read. So it was important for me for this week, next couple weeks, okay, to let you kind of know where you guys are at, all right? So you can work on you so you can be where you want to be when it comes to whether you want to be with somebody or you want to go on a new adventure, whatever your personal life maybe be maybe happening right now okay so and then we'll get back to the normal raw loves okay but it's the beginning of the month it's a new moon i want you to know where you guys are at and, and how to inspire you and motivate you and keep you going okay so scorpio scorpio all right so don't let your pride get in the way I, I definitely do not see that at all. But do you remember when I bought this when I bought this deck, I originally thought it said don't let a prick get in the way. So I don't know if you're dealing with a prick. Okay. Um hopefully not, but it's possible. <laughs> it's possible. Alright, so just worry about you. Take on um 
the fiery energy of like a Leo and persevere and, you know, have pride the way, be prideful in a great way because Scorps can have a lot of pride, a beautiful pride. And when you, and you feel like somebody takes that from you, it, it can put you in a little bit of a darker place, but not really worried about you guys right now. It looks absolutely fantastic. Morning, Leo. Um, have to bring my other glasses if I can't go and stuff. My photos, my photos, my photos. And they're not over here. Why is it? I, I bought three pairs and I can't find one. I guess I'll use these. Not always the way. Always, always, always. So. <clears throat> To locate those for my next spread. All right. So it says, have you been letting certain pride get in the way of certain obstacles, lower energy, that type of stuff, okay? This energy is magnificent, but combined with the rush of a full moon or a no moon, you can become trapped on top. This card may indicate you are at the end of this deadlock, though, okay? New developments are coming through, new solutions to this dilemma that you may be feeling. All right, this is time to find the balance between your own needs and other people around you. This will also help any relationships that you're going toward. So to attune to the new moon, okay, it says be magnificent without being plain too much. And my Scorpios, you're not plain, okay? Self-esteem is good. Vanity is not. Everybody is equally important. Creative urges should you be followed. Work some magic right now. A possible friendship may be ending. And I kind of see that because with this core issue, maybe a family situation, maybe a relationship, okay? Maybe you got the clarity, all right? And you're just, you're pushing through and you're still standing up for your beliefs. That's why they're saying go and have fun. Some of you may have left relationships or had a difficulty in the family with something going on. But right now you push through. They're giving you the power, you know, to, to manifest. To get done what needs to get done just don't cling because i did say in the very beginning i see some of you a little bit dealing with the past okay so the core issue maybe somebody left the household not really sure you guys would know your scenario but regardless you're doing great you're pushing through and you're going towards your dreams okay so you're about to feel a little more confident which is fantastic Release the pride if you're holding on to anything, okay? Um, I'm not really seeing it like that, so that's advice for maybe something I didn't see, okay? Which is why I love getting cards like that that don't resonate sometimes, okay? Because it's a, it's a, a message that will definitely stand out to somebody else. It's two, 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 two. All right, so it looks like you're going right towards your dreams, okay? Keep, keep praying, keep working hard manifesting, doing affirmations, you're going in a, a fantastic direction, okay, I love you guys.